everyone welcome back to bumblebee crafts hope you're all doing well so i'm here today with part three of my um design team project slash creative repurposing um this lovely ephemera folio that we're making so um in the last one we glued everything down and then off camera in between I have stitched around it all so we've got those pages and we, we glued these last time around and I've just stitched all around those so these are now at the stage where we can glue the two pages together um, obviously this one was double sided anyway so I didn't need to do that that one's worked out really well um, the other idea I had was um, I think I mentioned in the first one that I wanted to probably just do an eyelet closure but when you have these two together like this the eyelet's going to be there that's going to be right on the edge of where this plastic um, is and I don't want it to rip or tear or anything so I've changed my mind I've had a rethink and I'm just going to use some of this ribbon um, and um, I just thought if I glue that all down along there the colours goes lovely with this kit um, and then you can just tie it up as a bow so I think we might start with that first because I haven't decided whether um, I'm going to stitch on here as well seeing as there's stitching everywhere um, and I need to decide that before I stick these two pieces together so let's just move the pages to one side up there for now and they go with this and we will start on on the cover and pop this on here yeah we're all doing okay so how's everyone doing i hope you're doing well today uh, right now if we just roughly that can be enough to tie a bow I maybe want it a bit longer. I think that might be better. Just judging it by eye. I can always snip a little bit of this off afterwards. So I'm going to cut it here. And then what I think I'll do is I'll just before I do that, I'll get three more. This ribbon is very cheap in my hobby craft um, here in the UK. It's only pound for a roll and you get 15 metres on the roll. Um, it's great. I've got lots of different colours for this. Um, and whenever I, um, I'm i in there or if I order online, I'll always just chuck a few um, colours in, in the basket just to... Um, so I've got a stash I know it's not vintage or anything like that it's all modern ribbon but it's just so gorgeous and lovely to use so um, that, my bent needle to hold that down <laughs> so that's that bit now I've got to see if I can judge where the middle's going to be that's the middle of that I think there we are. Oh, we're 29 and a half on there, so that's not going to be. It's just going to be somewhere here. I just go by eye, judge it by eye. I think if I do that, and we we kind of want to go. So, I would say it's about like that, and then trying to keep this straight. There we go. Where was that little fold? There it was. There. 
So we're going to have stitching around this anyway once I've stuck the inside together. So that might be enough, just a bit of extra stitching just down there because I'll be doing a straight stitch. I think it might stand out a bit too much if I do a zigzag along there. Yeah, I think that's going to be nice. And then that will just tie up like there. And we can still decorate the front if we want to. So let's keep that flat for now. Let's move that. Uh, let's pop it behind it actually. And let that dry and we do the second one. Just check we're still filming. So uh, I'm up early doing this um, video um, today. Actually not feeling too bad, all things considered. So yeah, not too bad at all today. Um, but I'm yeah up early and everything because I'm really excited that um, I ordered from... Um, Hobbycraft, um, some of their plush pumpkins, um, and um, they're due to arrive today. I had an email from uh, Royal Mail to say um, your parcel will be delivered at some point today. So I thought if I can get my video done early, um, and then I can just sit them downstairs and relax, watch some other YouTubers on um, YouTube, catch up on my Gale videos um, while I wait for them to arrive and oh they're gorgeous, um, they do, they're like velvet coloured, um, velvet covered um, like little mushrooms and they're all um, just soft and oh lovely um, and um, the gonks that um, I got last year, um, hubby bought me. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video that they asked they they, they asked to have some decoration. They were um, they're all um, designed for autumn. The um, little gonks they got like autumn colours and clothing and stuff on them. Um, but um, they just sit on the shelf on their own. Um, and uh, yeah, they said to me the other day they wanted some decoration around them. So I am, I've ordered um, some plush pumpkins. I might do a little um, thing on IG just to show the, um, what they look like. But oh, they're just so lovely. As the name suggests, they're plush. And I've got some, some natural colours. I mean, you can, they do all sorts of colours. They do pink, they do um, purple and everything like that. But I just went with a lovely rust colour. Um, similar to this, so it's like a natural looking colour um, and a green. Um, and then they did do one that was, they called it acid green, um, but it was really kind of like a, not a dark mustardy yellow colour, but um, similar to this kind of yellow in, in here. Um, and I know you do get the little yellow, um, I think, are they patty pan squashes? Um, I, when I grew them years ago in my allotment, I didn't have much success with them, <laughs> not in the first year. Um, so, um, but yeah, so I'm really, really excited to decorate up, um, the shelf in the living room today with my plush pumpkin. Right, let's get back to this. Um, we don't need these just yet. I'll put them to one side because they go with that. So we want to stick these together now. So this is one of the pages that's going to go in. This one we don't need to. These we do. Now, uh, blue. I think to hold it to start with, we will have some Pritt stick because it's just going to be card on card. And then I will use some of my... Um, stronger PVA glue around the edge um, because you've got the stitching but then as I said I am going to stitch a straight stitch over the top and all around so that it's nice and secure so let's put we are obviously up the right way on there let's put some glue along here I might actually do is just do this over this section. What is it? Belt and braces 
Okay, and I'm just going to move it down a little bit. Um, you'll probably see the top of my head because I really want to get this lined up. I'll try not to hit the camera like I just did. That is lined up. There we go. So that's that. So now we can go along the edge here. Um, and I'm also just going to put a bit across the top of that and then a bit in there all along this edge and all along this there and some in here On here, just tuck in those threads. I think it will tuck in. That's it. Put some glue on the string. Finish that bit here. Oh, fingers are aching today. I think that was because of all the last couple of days using the um, knife to cut it. I've got um, a blade, one of those um, rotary cutters, but I keep that purely from a fabric. So um, I'm a bit, I suppose, because of my background in um, dressmaking. <laughs> I'm a bit, um, no, my dressmaking scissors are for, for material and dressmaking only and and stuff. So I might have to see about perhaps getting another one for um, just to use for um, paper and stuff because that knife is a bit uncomfortable. It's not so bad when you're holding it in your hand, um, but I just find it very tough now. Come on, stick. I had enough glue on those edges. I don't really want it to... Mm -hmm. This side wants to come up. Put a bead more glue along here. It's not like there's plastic that it's sticking. Maybe it's just because you've got the um, st stitching. That's got it now, yeah, because that top bit has gone nicely. I think it's just because of the stitching, it's pushing it out. So we need to... Just give it a good old squish down. Yeah, I need more glue along this bit. It's not... This might take a bit of time, I think. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to actually do this. So I think what I might do is, um, you get the idea if you are following along and making one um, about gluing it all down, is um, I'm going to go ahead off camera because I don't think you really need to see me what um, do all of this gluing. Oh, it's coming back up again. Um, so yeah, I will go around and glue the two pages of all of them. So that'll be these two will glue together. And then these pages, um, we will glue these ones together. I'll do that off camera. Um, I will stitch around them. And what I'm going to do is just do a straight stitch all the way around. Um, like so just to um, hold them together 
um, better because as I said I don't think they're going to stick too well on this side bit um, but yeah I will do that off camera and then I'll be back so I will join these bits of videos together um, for you so I'll be back in the same video um, but it'll probably be later on this afternoon time I've glued everything together so I will see you again shortly take care hi everyone welcome back to bumblebee crafts so i'm here with part three of this ephemera folio um, that i'm making part of my design team project for rachel and bella crafts um, but it ties in with my creative um, repurposing um, that i've been doing um, so if you haven't seen the other um, two videos of these do go and check it out um, so um, in this one with doing the final touches this is my one that I've completely made up and it's stuffed full absolutely crammed full of all the ephemera from all four of Rachel's autumn kits she's got two more out I think they're out now I'm not sure um, yeah I think they are time this airs um, but they're the all the fussy cuts from this autumn and fall fussy cut kit um, that was the backgrounds that we used on the kit she's got um, the times and seasons journal kit and there's also this one which is the members um, kit if you're a member of her Kofi site um, so it's full I've just put a little decoration on the front and as you can see these whole ephemera folders hold loads of stuff that's what exactly what I wanted it for I wanted to cram it full of all of um, the kits um, ephemera I've got a space here because I think she's got another yeah she's got another two autumn kits out so if there's anything more from one of those kits um, I've just put some leaves on here because I just thought it makes it look pretty even though it's um, just ephemera and I mean just oh it just looks so lovely having all of them there um, and then in this one and that page there has got lots of them and that's the back page so as you can see it holds an awful lot of ephemera so I am really really pleased so where we were last time round was the gluing um, we um, had glued all the pages together and then I was going to stitch round off camera which is what I've done I've stitched around here um, just a straight stitch just to hold it all together um, so yeah I was really pleased with how they've turned out so they all go with this one um, so this has already been scored which is one of the scoreboards here and we can sew that one in as well so I'll move that to one side and just check we're in move this up slightly So um, what we needed to do is score this now. That's the next stage is to score it and then bind it all together. I've got my um, book binding stuff to the side here. Um, so how I, rather than try and measure it, I just fold it like this and just do a little pinch on this top bit. And then... I've put on my scoreboard, I see this trick by um, on a Tracy Fox video, I think somebody told her that um, if you'd use your Sharpie just to do a line down here, I think she'd done a few for what she was making, um, but this just helps with lining something up when you're not butting it up to here and using um, those. So I'm just going to move this down slightly so that I can see and I don't knock the camera because I want to get that bit right on my line um, let me just get the uh, this and then it's just a case of scoring down here now I'm going to come back up and do it several times because we're obviously going through quite a few thicknesses here there we go and that will fold lovely in half make sure we are level there and that is the cover whatever we press down actually I prefer this bone folder for pressing stuff down 
there we go yeah that's that's the cover so let's do these two and then we can sew it all in together and that is um the um the videos that i would um put all together sorry i lost my train of words there as to what i was uh, trying to say <laughs> uh, right let's pinch that top bit there so that i know that's about level there I'm going to come up this and down a few times. There we go. Always remembering valleys to mountains. I think I heard that on a, um, a Gail video um, as to how she remembers to, to do it which way. So that goes in there and then the final page and have it this way Is that a good pinch and then that's about that center stage that we needed to have done um, and now it's just a case of sewing it all in so let me just move this to the side of me out my way so let's position these where we want them within the book like so and I've just got some paper clips because it's thin. The paper clips work really nicely to hold it. So I'll do that. they are lovely now I am just going to eyeball the center actually I've got my lace my ribbon haven't I so I'm just going to line it up with my ribbon and roughly oh a bit off there but never mind that's fine I'm come down about an inch and the same with this side and just push that through and there we have that one so let's grab some thread just flatten that I just flatten it so that it because it's easier then to uh, thread through the needle and then this should go through nice and easy because um, if I can see my hole, it's quite dim here. To, ah, that's why I'm trying to go through that. Nice and easy because we've only got a few um, pages. You could run a stitch through on the sewing machine if, if you wanted to do it that way. I just, I like doing these um, three hole pamphlets. I just, I like the look of it. And then up that top one and there we go so let's pull that tight and I'll do another one just for good measure nice and tight so I'll we'll knot it now Double 
a double knot. There we go. So that is ready. They can come off. The needle goes in there. And that. It's all in there really nicely. Ready to fill with lots of goodies. So we'll decorate that up in a minute. Let's do this one again and then we can finish off all of them. So do you there and you about there. center. All right, let's see if we can line that up a bit better this time around. Yeah, look at that. That's better. Put that out of the way. Come down about an inch. About an inch. Lovely. Three lengths of thread, that will give me um, a nice amount to then add the um, leaves because I'm going to do the same as I did with my one um, with the leaves and then we can get it all nicely filled. I won't fill it um, on camera because these ones are the ones that are going to be um, sold um, in my Etsy shop so I'm going to... Um, Oh, come on. I'm going to fill them with some of my die cuts and stuff. Why won't it go through? Has it moved? No, I just hadn't closed, got it together. There, there we go. Who'd have thought just a simple three page thing would be difficult just <laughs> to find the hole on it? It's not like it's fabric or anything. Never mind. We're there. Oh, trying to get this one in here. That's it. Okay, nice and tight. Um, lovely. Look at that. Loads of space to fill with lots of yummy, yummy ephemera pieces. So let's tie these. Uh, um, oh, we've got to do the inside ties, haven't we? Yes, that's it. Before we do that, so I went ahead and decided on what I want on the front of these um, off camera, and I've inked around everything, so we can um, just glue it all down basically now and get them finished off in these last few moments that we've got. Okay, so that's the side that's inked. I don't want the little stem on these. That's too. Too fiddly to try and glue together. Okay, well, I've got the scissors, I'm just going to snip these ones from the other one off as well. I forgot to do it when I, before I inked around it, but that's fine. Okay. 
for those in the bin. So we need to decide how far down we want them to hang. I'm going to glue it this way. I think about there is fine, so I'm just going to that on camera, move that up. I'm just going to snip it off there because I don't want this hanging out the bottom. So let's put glue all on here. These little leaves are just from a punch. It's an X cut, the same brand as my um, cutting mat, and it's a it's quite a hefty punch. I have to get hubby to use it because it actually um, embosses. Um, the, the lines, I don't know if it can actually see. It's very faint. It, when you've done it, you need to give it a real good clamp down um, if you want to get the embossing on it. Um, so, um, yeah, as I said, I have to get hubby to do it for me. Okay, so that's that one. And we're just going to glue the two together. And that. And then I'm just going to, oh, they're here. Got my weights and just put a weight on that to hold it down. Okay, so let's decide how long we want this one. I think that one was quite long so I'm going to go a bit shorter with this one so they hang at different lengths I think that looks nice doing it like that so let's put glue in here glue over here to hold this down and that go on the top like so moved slightly there we go, and my other weight is there to hold that down. I'm just going to slide that to the side of me here so that we can then bring in this one and do the same with this. So we've got some leaves with this one. So where do we think we want this? Have that one hanging down about here. So yeah, this, um, when they finish this, concludes my three different ways that I've used um, serial liners. So um, yeah, I uh, now I need to uh, <laughs> start saving some more. I've not been eating much cereal of late. Um, so uh, yeah, I haven't been accumulating much. Um, and hubby doesn't actually have breakfast. Um, he usually grabs something mid morning um i think he does when he's at work so um yeah there's not it's only me that has me uh gluten free cereal so uh, i think i'm going to have to start eating cereal a bit more again <laughs> for my breakfast um because i've loved um those other two that we um other two videos that i did um with the um faux using it as faux vellum or faux glassine bags and making the little pockets um, so uh, I really want to um, do some of those with Christmas definitely need to do, get focusing on Christmas again um, I've already been uh, mother, uh, mother-in-law's already asked me for um, some have I got Christmas cards that she could um, 
use to send to her family and friends and everything. So I was like, oh, I've got some left from last year, but you want you'll want new designs, so uh, I need to get busy making cards for Christmas for everybody. So you might see a few videos coming up in the next month or two of me perhaps doing bases. I doubt I'll do the actual card making on um, camera, but um, some of my cards are um, using card making kits from um, the different card making magazines that you can get. Um, some others though I do use um, a bit more mixed media in them. Um, so that it's um depends on who you send it to doesn't it um so uh you'll see probably me making some of those up right i'm going to move this one to the side and bring this one back these should be dry enough just yeah they're completely sealed just need a little bit more drying but it's sealed itself nicely good okay so we need to do the cover so let's tie this up in the bow that I wanted to do so that looked lovely okay and I wanted to I was thinking of the, the positioning of these on here so you've got one to the side there and then you've got this one um, Maybe like that, or that centre and that one coming down. How do we want to do this? Maybe we want that further over and that one. I do like that. Maybe we just need the one after all that. Maybe she needs to go up there. Maybe she needs to go that way, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. I know this is going to go centre anyway, so let's uh, get this um, fabric tacked on. Judging by eye, I'm looking at about that for the centre. Okay, so we're going to go with that one just there, coming down a little bit. Yeah, I think so. So they've all been inked, so uh, I don't need to do that on camera. up slightly so I'll just take a bit of that, that glue off make sure she's straight okay so this one should be dry so let's weight these down let's get a couple more and there we go so I swap that to that side. Let's check on these. Lovely. That one looks done. What about under that bit? Yep. Okay. So we can close this one up. So, and this one was going to have a 
this one. Maybe I need to do it like that this time round. So that that goes under it. Yeah, I think I do. I think I'll do... Keep that like so. Let's put some glue on this. And we kind of want you up a little bit more, so let's make sure we've got you straight. Like so, and pop you in the center. center is about there I would say so I'm going to take them off there and weight that down with that because these should be dry a little me glue so there we have it um ephemera folios using the cereal liners um they just look so lovely um, and they're just like if you're doing a um, like autumnal projects you can put all sorts in them so these two that we've just done here will go um, will be for sale in my Etsy shop um, I will be doing a, um, a separate little video with the Etsy update so you'll know when these are actually um, in there because what I want to do in here um, for you is um, just put a few little bits not much because obviously the idea is for you to fill it with different bits of ephemera yourself um, but I want to put some of my um, fussy cut um, my die cut leaves using my scan and cut um, and I'll put some of the these leaves in here as well and just a few little bits dotted about um, in the ephemera folio um, for you so you'll see a separate video um, if you are interested um, in them or if you're interested ahead of the video um, just let me know um, you can find the link to my email address um, if you just email me um, and we can sort that out um, but yeah you can see it takes a whole lot of um, ephemera <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and all the links to Rachel's kits will be below. Um, do go and check them out. She's got some gorgeous, gorgeous um, different kits available um, and she will often do freebies during the um, coming weeks as well. Um, like a page of tags, things like that. I know she did that with the... Um, hashtag be summer inspired um collaboration there was lots of freebies that were available um so yeah um go check that out as well and thank you very much for watching and tuning in from another video for me so thanks very much i will be back again soon doing some more crafting adventures take care everyone bye <laughs>